Hey guys, what's going on? John here from What's Spinning here tonight to chat very quickly about this new Troy Sivan EP, In a Dream. Troy Sivan is a synth pop artist. He's also dabbled in pop and alternative R&B. He's been at it for a few years now. I first heard about Troy way back around the time of his Blue Neighborhood debut, and at the time, I thought this was going to be an album that I really hated, but I was wrong. At least I didn't hate it entirely. I actually thought some of the woozy, dreamy beats were actually pretty intoxicating, and lyric-wise, I liked what Troy had to offer. But I thought that Troy wasn't pushing himself hard enough. However, his 2018 follow-up, Bloom, really knocked my socks off, at least much more so than his debut. Well, at first, I was worried that Troy was going to kind of be a flash-in-the-pan sort of guy. Bloom was brilliant. As a matter of fact, the title track and other tracks on there, like Dance to This and My My My, were some of, if not the best pop singles that I heard all year. Now, I heard a while back that he was dropping a new EP, and at first I was just going to let it slide and chat about a new album when it came out, but then I listened to this thing, and honestly, I'm pretty impressed. Take Yourself Home as an intro, I love it. It's silky and smooth, I love the sort of late night vibes to this. That's different for Troy, and he does really well with it. And I love the sort of more gloomy feel to this overall. Outside of that, this track is just all great between the very subtle funk and these larger than life since sort of 80s at times. And it's funny because, ironically, the sound that he's going for here is pretty popular right now. A lot of people are trying to do this right now. Troy sounds great, though. As a matter of fact, compared to his contemporaries, he's really up there right now. It's super hip, and I love the beat that pops in at the end. This is great. Easy, on the other hand, is very breezy and upbeat, much more carefree as well. Not only in the instrumental, Troy just sounds full of life here, even if, once again, this is a pretty gloomy track at points. Actually, really gloomy. Troy, at the very least, though, does sound hopeful enough at points, and honestly, as far as a well-shaped pop tune, this is great. Also, to address the elephant in the room very quickly, Troy has come out of his shell so much since the alt-pop shy boy on Blue Neighborhood. Honestly, it excites me for the future of his music. And while only 56 seconds long, could cry just thinking about you? Man, this is good. This excites me so much. There's almost like a barefaced Brockhampton vibe to this track, but my god, he's even doing these sad boy old R&B tracks better than the contemporaries are right now. He packed more into 52 seconds than some artists can in three minutes. This track rules. And if we're talking about Troy really coming out of his shell, you really have to talk about Stud as well, because this is something entirely different than we heard on Bloom. This is steamy and sexy, and a seriously awesome alternative R&B, alternative pop tune. I mean, compared to the feel-good sanitary pop of Bloom, while well, that was catchy, this is wild. And when that beat hits, man, this is strong. Some of the production here, too. Like this gets seriously left field towards the end. I want to hear more of this sound from Troy, and sooner rather than later, please. Now, I will say this. Like I said earlier, I almost bypassed this EP completely, mostly because I didn't really like the Rager Teenager single, and I still don't. This just isn't my cup of tea. It's just so sappy, and even he's done that so much better on here. I mean, that 52-second track, that was much more emotional than anything on here. Even his vocals here take a major back step. But In a Dream is a great finale. This EP is pretty awesome and tight. In a Dream is the soaring synth-pop anthem that I didn't know Troy Sivan had in him. And as far as his emotions go, I don't think I've ever really heard Troy this black and white, and that's saying something. It's a brilliant little finale. I'm very excited to hear what Troy Sivan is going to be pushing out in the next couple of years. So yeah, this is a little 19-minute EP or whatever it is, but... Wow, Troy is really pushing out, really branching out into some new sounds and taking some big risks and honestly doing a lot of the things he's doing here better than his contemporary. Sure, it's a very small sample size, but it has me really excited for the future of Troy Savon. I'm feeling a light eight on this EP, but let me know what you guys think down below. If you like the video, be sure to give us a like, give us a subscribe, and let me know down below what you would like for me to chat about in the future. And until next time, have a great day, guys.